I thought that the comments were interesting as well. Um, so I'm not going to waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get to the video. For black women and black women only, answer this question. Because so statistics show that only 26% of black women will marry in their lifetime from any race. 26% of black women will marry in their lifetime. My question is, why do you guys think that is? Why do we have such low marital rates? And I'm not talking about black women marrying black men. I'm talking about men of all race wanting or desiring to marry a black woman. Why are we so undesired when it comes to marriage? Now, I know there's percentage who don't want to be married, right? But there's a large percent of women, black women, who want to be married. But again, why is that the case? Why is that? You know, I think if we start to really sit down and, and, and think about why statistics are what they are, they are not there for for just no re for just any reason, right? There there's reasons behind it, and I think that there's a plethora of reasons, and from my opinion, of why I believe that those statistics are what they are, and why we are the lowest. This message is for Black women and okay, and that was the extent of that particular clip. So when we look over at the uh, when we look over at the comments, it, it was interesting. Now this one right here is typical. I'm sick of these conversations. Me that's trying to push this narrative so hard, you know. Y'all don't say that when it's a sprinkle, sprinkle. When it's a man hating post. Anyways, this then we got the turnaround. I think this is a great question for men, not just black men, but men as well. Why are they not marrying black women? It's not a good question for men. I, even when the question is asked of men, black women don't listen to that. So it doesn't matter what the men actually say. Judged and humiliated because he married her. See how their relationship looks like two years later. The couple had met and instantly fell in love despite people telling them they should not get married. They dated for many years and he eventually proposed to her. Despite his friends telling him not to marry her, he didn't listen because he loved her and they ended up getting married. After getting married, they wanted to build a life together despite all the people who said they couldn't. They ended up having two kids, but soon after that, their life began to fall apart. You might find it hard to fathom the current state of their relationship, especially after what has transpired. The guy revealed a surprising and somewhat unsettling truth. Throughout the duration of their relationship, he was harboring feelings of unhappiness, a sentiment that was veiled beneath the surface, unbeknownst to many who knew them. He also posted a video of the girl allegedly abusing him while they're in a relationship. Among those who have heard his story, opinions are sharply divided. There are some who readily accept his version of events. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Arecha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. Shalom to you, believers and followers of this faith. And shalom to the elect. So, anyway, this is kind of like a raw video. I had to clip up there. This is a woman. She calls herself the Crimson Cure, right? So, um, she speaks against, you know, the women, especially black women, you know, and their morals and the things that they're doing and how they're destroying the nation, right? She So, she goes into that. She's like the female Kevin Samuels so to speak and she does she makes good points so I took that clip out of there and I said I want to go touch on that so anyway this woman she is complaining that basically they're unmarriageable if that's a word or undateable and no nationality wants them right it's why because thy are spoiled right that's what that comes from i are spoiled you know a lot of this also comes from the black conscience community who is also agents that all set up to help destroy us you had this guy brother polite say the black woman is god but then you see the sick acts he was doing with women and that um the string-haired guy the uh shaka most you know with the long rope coming out out of his head right he's supposed to be allegedly 
laid with his so-called stepdaughter, which would have been his daughter. That was his, that was his wife's daughter. So that all came out. So you see these guys, and then there's other ones in there abu abusive, uh, using cocaine. There was one of the black women in there who was uh, supposedly um, a cocaine runner. So you can see these people don't care about the black community or in order that's dealing with order. So they're teaching that the black woman is God. Well, that's a problem. And notice that they're the only nation that teaches that. I mean, we're the only people as so-called blacks, I'm going to say Israelites, and mainly Judah. They're the only ones teach that we're queens. The black woman is queens. So how come they're being taught that they're queens, but they're in the worst predicament when it comes to relationships? You know, that should tell you something right there. They're in the worst predicament when it comes to relationships. You're calling them queens. No other nation do that except the real king and queen of England. But you don't see the whole nation of white people calling themselves queens. <laughs> We're the greatest people on the earth. We're the, the smartest people. You know, they just... And then knowing that we're not even in any of these positions, they be, be saying that. But anyway, I'm going to get it. Uh, I, this is going to be quick, I think. Um, one scripture came to mind, and I want to read the scriptures in Genesis 3. Um, this says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field, which the Lord God hath made. And he said unto the woman, Ye have, ye have God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Like all these, when you look at Eve, oh boy, Eve will tell you, you can mess around and I can lay with any, I can lay with multiple men because men love me. They'll say that. I heard them say that too. They just want all the fruit. <laughs> then it says, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh said, it says, God said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. And this is exactly what's happening today. Remember, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 says, there's no new thing under the sun. We should know who the serpent is right the one who runs it the one who tells them you're a queen you're a god you can be over your husband right take him to child support get all your food get your money get your raiment you don't need him you can just do it all you want and then you know what if it doesn't work get yourself another man they understand the more men you mess with the more confused you get and then when it doesn't go right hey we can set you up with the parent plan thing and when that's intact and that's in play, then you're really screwed. Now it's to the point, you know, they understand that to make a family work, the husband has to be there. But if he's not there, you're doing as thou wilt. You're doing whatever you want to do. That uh, sexual liberty and freedom of all, for all. Yeah. How's that working out? And then, I got to say this, then they'll have the thing where a man is supposed to take care of you, but a woman ain't. Then they'll say, if he doesn't have a job and he's not, see the problem with you Eves, is you took, you ate of all the fruit, you know, you ate the fruit of the trees. You've, you've, you've been consumed with doctrine, you've been consumed with independence and saying, I have it. I've been funded, I've got money, I make a hundred, I make six figures, and I'm good. But then you don't realize who helped you do that. For you for your cheap labor. Or let me say, you know, taxed. It's a lot I can't say in this video. Then they then they look at the man and say, Well, if I'm making a hundred grand, you should be making at least a hundred and fifty more. You see how selective feminism goes, right? When anything benefits them. They flip it on real quick, and then now he's supposed to make two hundred thousand, <clears throat> since you only make a hundred thousand. But what they're not realizing, if a smart woman understands, hey, if I make a hundred thousand, you know, and that's when they flip on that chivalry trash, 
well, you know, we're equal. We're a man and woman. We're all equal until you making more money than him, right? Uh, uh, than him, then he has to up his income. Was not realizing if you make a hundred thousand and he makes sixty thousand, well, y'all got a hundred and sixty together. And if you allowed him to lead, you would do a whole lot better with your money without sleeping around. But they don't see that because of the independence in the media, right? And it's foolishness, you know. Anyway, and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be open. This is exactly why the Lord said for a man, a woman to have only one husband in her life, maybe two if he passes. Because when Eve get out there, that's why the scripture says, give not wicked Eve liberty to gather abroad. Give the water no passage. When you're dealing with the water and passages, if there's a flood in your house, it goes in every crack known to man. But that liberation, boy. Anyway, um, and it says, And ye shall be gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat. You remember the scripture um, in the book of Proverbs says she eateth and wipeth her mouth and say, I've done no wickedness and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. And this is what you see happening. Our people have followed into the queen of heaven. We can see this in Jeremiah 44 when he said we will do nothing at all, right? We have no victuals. We would do nothing but work, uh, worship the queen of heaven. And guess what? It was the father, the men, the fathers, and the counselors who was following the women into the queen of heaven. When you read up on it. And the eyes were open, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they saved fig, sold, sold fig trees together and made themselves aprons. Right? So there you see the beginning. Remember the scripture says the beginning of sin came even through her. We all died. Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover the Lord because the daughter of, moreover the Lord saith because the daughter of, daughters of Zion is haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and walk on eyes walk and mentaling as they go and making tinkling with their feet. The Lord shall will smite thee with a scab of the crown of her head and the daughters of Zion and the Lord will discover the secret parts. You see this with the weaves and the long hair. And you can say it's their hair if they bought it, right? Right? And you can keep reading on. It says, In that day the Lord shall take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, their calls, and their round tires like the moon, the chains, the bracelets, and the mufflers, the bonnets, and the ornaments of the legs. And the headbands, uh, the tablets, and the earrings. You can see Eve been lifted up. Once Eve get lifted up and she get on that proud, proud um, wave, that's it. I don't need you. I hear so. I didn't hear many women in my lifetime tell men that. I, it was told to me. I don't need you. I just go get another man and another man and another man. And now you just got a open womb, man. Right. The rings are the nose jewels, the changeable suits, apparels, mantles. So we see nothing new under the sun. Instead of sweet smell, uh, there shall be stink. We're not even going to go into that. Instead of the girdle or rent, the, the big Shirley's, right? Which go back to that show, What's Happening, that out of control uh, big woman uh, and that played uh, um, uh, a waitress. And she was obnoxious, lazy, and mouthy. And instead of well-said hair baldness, instead of a stomach of girl in sackcloth, burning instead of beauty, thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the, in the war. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. 
So when you look at in a whole, when you look at it, that feminism has really destroyed you. Guarantee you would be much happier with forty thousand dollars a year and your man making sixty, and then you combine for a hundred thousand. That would be great. But what they've managed to do is say, you know what? We're all equal, equal rights, equal pay. They brought all that up, and now it's even been from your own husband. So you traded in your life as a husband and, a, and as family, which nothing wrong if you got to work in this society, but you traded it in for a career. But then when you get to career and you make so much money, this is the consequence. And then in this other video that I had up about the woman and the um, when the guy was talking about looks like a white guy, can't tell his nationality, but when he was complaining uh, about being abused and everything, I, if a man did that same thing with any woman, he'd be the greatest dog on the planet. But you know who's in them comments? I'm not even going to read it. They're such a beautiful couple. Sad to see that happen. No accountability for the black woman at all. And it never, it, it, and it hasn't been. And that's why you see the condition that has gone in. Even the courts doesn't even hold them accountable to some degree. Right? Any crime they commit and any crime a man commits, it's a totally different offense. Right? It's like uh, sexual discrimination where they'll uphold the woman and get her treatment and help. But the black man, they'll throw his ass in a prison. You Israelites, you Hispanics too. They'll throw you in a prison and lock, uh, throw away the damn key. Anyway, that's all I have on that, Shalom.